like everyone here, is, is against fracking. But my interest is, is, is spiritually related. I'm from Zuni Pueblo. My wife and I traveled this morning. And um, my interest spiritually, I am still connecting my religious or our religious orders are still connecting spiritually with the Chaco Canyon area. And we know that fracking has disturbed in other areas and fracking can cause the disturbance of our sacred land here. Historically, culturally, we are connected to that land. <coughs> and I still do do a lot of connections. So that's number one, spiritually, I am very interested to have not the Chaco Canyon be disturbed. Secondly, I'm an educator. I do a lot of research, again, with the Solstice Project, with Anna Sofera. Hi, Anna. <laughs> and and the, that connection is very important because we are still researching and making that connection to be solidified. We, as Pueblo people, we have lost a lot of our cultural practices, our cultural identity. We are trying to regather those and trying to connect with the Chaco Canyon as our source of activities. Recently, we just had our Shalako, which is a celebration of our winter solstice. And looking at the, the sun dagger, that relates so much to our activities. And, and now, each month, we, <coughs> our people, bless the moon each month as it sets and they do the baking until the time when December arrives we start to celebrate the Shalako event which is celebration of the, the winter solstice. So those are the two interests that I have in terms of keeping all companies out of the area. It's so sad that we bless the almighty dollar as, as, as a source to make our, solve everything for us. It can't. We have to solve that issue ourselves. It is up to us to stop all this <coughs> fracking. And I, and I thank you for this time. Thank you.